Namaste everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the nine ninja seal hand mudras that were used to help the ninjas back then um, concentrate during a mission and keep their concentration and focus intact. Now this originated from Tibet and then later on it was transferred to other parts like Japan. Now, along with these mudras we have mantras which we utter when we do the hand signs so it makes it harder for us to concentrate and make more effort that actually helps our minds to be focused during a meditation instead of just drifting off into anything we think of. Now I'm not going to get into the mantras here, I'm just going to show you the mudras, the hand mudras. And maybe later on I'll just do a mantra video. But for now I'm going to stick to the, the mudras so you can learn how to do them. And I usually do them when I go to sleep. I usually scan my nine chakras before going to sleep and, and sometimes I fall asleep while doing it. And this eliminates any temptation of thinking of other things and then you start tossing and turning throughout the whole night and you can't sleep. Okay. So this will actually center you, and this has helped me so much. Now the first Pujan seal is Rin, and it's the earth chakra. And Rin, okay, can be done in two ways, okay? If you're a martial artist, um, you put your hands like this, okay? And if you're a martial artist, you might, you might like to do this one because it's more of a direct energy. You see what I mean? It's more of a direct energy. But if you want to meditate, um, you could do it with the uh, with the middle finger because it means to internalize your energy But the with the pointer it means to you know focus the energy now both are okay But you could pick which one you want now second kujin is Keo and Keo uh, pertains to the sacral chakra Which is located below the navel and it goes something like this Okay, put these together and then you bring The middle finger over the pointer you see now you try to get these two to touch the thumbs. Now, if you can't do it, that's fine. You know, don't hurt yourself. But this is the the Keio seal of the set of the sacral chakra. Now, the third kuji is Toph, and that pertains to the solar plexus and giving you courage and focus of your energy in in the solar plexus. And um, Toph looks like this. You put them together, okay, like this. And these two, okay, a little difficult. You put together like this, okay. That's tough. Now the fourth Kujin seal is Sha. And Sha has to do with healing of the heart and healing also of the whole body. It also has to do with physical healing. If you see Ninja Assassin, you're going to see Red Su, which by the way, Red Su is the, the is the name of the sixth Kuji, Kujin seal. But the character, the main character of Ninja Assassin, he does the, the Sha, the Sha Mandra. And as he's doing it, he's healing his whole body. Okay, and it's pretty cool. That's cool. that's how I started getting into the Kuji when I saw the movie. I started looking into it, and that's how I found out about the mudras. Now, the Sha mudra is you put your fingers together like this, and you point like this, and you bring this out, and this is a Sha mudra. Now, the fifth Kujin seal is called Kai, and it pertains to knowing when danger is around you, and how this mudra looks like, which is which is governed by the throat chakra. It's pretty simple. It's like this. Okay, it's like the simplest mudra I've ever seen. The next one I have to do with the sixth chakra and it's the third eye. And this one pertains to intuition. And it also pertains to telepathy. So the sixth mudra looks like this. You put your hands together like this. You put them together and you touch the, the right finger with your two thumbs. See like that? You put them together and then you just click it like this. Now the seventh mudra, it's retsu and it looks like this. It's very simple. You get your pointer and you just wrap it around and then you just squeeze. Okay. This is Retsu and this has to do with the 7th chakra which is to do with connecting with higher conscious. Now the 8th seal, which has no chakra, is called Zai. And Zai looks like this. Okay. And, and Zai has no corresponding endocrine system. It's just a layer of, of aura that's around the human body. Now the ninth seal is called Zen and it goes like this. You put your hands together like that and it's Zen. And I'm sure you've seen the monks you know, walk like this. And what it means is that you are in harmony with, with the world. So I hope you enjoyed this video and namaste.